Call the meeting to order. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Laverne Planning Commission February 27th, 2018 meeting at 6 p.m. Our first item is to approve the minutes from the January 30th, 2018 regular meeting. I'll entertain a motion to approve or disapprove meeting minutes. Make a motion to accept as submitted. We have a motion to accept. Do we have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Minutes pass. Our first item of business. Site plan requested by Huddleston Steel for lot 8 Ritter Properties, property located at 113 LaSalle Court, tax map J, Group D, parcel 8, I-1, Light Industrial Zoning District, property owned by DNA Partnership. Mr. Logan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So um, items 1 and 2 were here last month, and uh, they had to go to Boza for a variance on the side yard, and they both received that variance on January the 30th. And... Um, so the variance now puts them in compliance. And um, this is the first of the two lots and it's, they're proposing a 4,027 square foot building and um, at the end of LaSalle Court. And the, the lot size is 16,850 square feet. And they are proposing areas of tar and chip around the surface, um, around the uh, building. And that is a dustless surface, so it's, uh, it meets the city's ordinance. And um, other than that, the prop property is currently vacant and it's zoned I-1, light industrial. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No other technical items? Any questions or comments from the board? And with all the technical items been addressed, I make a motion to accept as submitted. We have a motion to accept as submitted. Do we have a second? Yes, we have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Next item, site plan requested by Huddleston Steel for lot seven Ritter properties, property located at 111 LaSalle Court, tax map 14J, group D, parcel eight, I-1 Light Industrial Zoning District, property owned by DNA Partnership, Mr. Logan. Thank you, so this is the lot next door, um, 111 LaSalle is the address, also zoned I-1 and uh, they are proposing also a similar size building, a little over 4,000 square feet. And the lot size is 16,850. And uh, the same areas of tar and chip around the uh, facility. And I didn't mention the last item, but they do have a sidewalk. They, they are um, showing that on the plans and we'll build the sidewalk along the road frontage. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any questions or comments from the board? That will entertain a motion. Make a motion to accept as submitted. A motion to accept as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. Have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. On to our next item. Final Platte Mason Road Business Center requested by Kimley Horn. Property located on Mason Road, tax map 17, parcel 11. I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by David Ingram. Mr. Logan. Thank you. Um, this is the Mason Road Business Park project, and this is the final plat for that project. So I think they were first here in October, November last fall. And um, during that time, we've been working through issues and whatnot. Um, the total site is 110 acres, and uh, this plat is, uh, will constitute five lots. And... Um, all the minimum building setback lines are indicated and uh, the same plan proposes to take the curves out of uh, Mason Road. It will soften those curves and come up with a new road alignment and um, they are showing uh, sidewalks on the plat and uh, this does not, of course, uh, does not lie near a FEMA flood zone. So that's also indicated on the plat. And I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any questions or comments from the board? I do, Mr. Chairman. I just appreciate the applicant working with the staff and, and the, the planning commission. And with that, I'll make a motion to accept as submitted. We have a motion to accept as submitted. We have a second. Okay. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Next item. 
Site plan, Mason Road Business Center, Lot 1, requested by Kimley Horn, property located on Mason Road, tax map 17, parcel 11, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Mr. David Walden, or D David Ingram, my apologies. Mr. Logan. Thank you. Uh, this is the first site plan of three that are on the agenda tonight. And this is the overall plan. Um, you can see lot one is here toward the bottom of the screen. And then um, this is lot two and lot three. And um, so this is the site plan for lot one. And they did originally submit this all together. And after meeting with staff, it was decided the best course of action was to submit them separately. So that's why, and that way they could meet the city ordinance. Um, so that's why there's three separate site plans, but it's the same development, three separate buildings. And um, this lot is almost 12 acres. And again, it's the one that runs horizontal um, east to west. And uh, this building proposed on this lot is 191,000, almost 192,000 square feet. And we've worked through all the issues over the last, probably since October. So we've, we've gotten through all the issues. So I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks. Very good. Any questions or comments from the board? Oh. We'll entertain a motion. Jim, I make a motion to accept as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Next item. Site plan, Mason Road Business Center, lot two, requested by Kimley Horn, property located on Mason Road. <laughs> Tax map 17, parcel 11, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Mr. David Ingram. Mr. Logan. Thank you. So this is lot two to the west, and uh, this building would also be used for warehouse and distribution, and they're proposing a 186,000 square foot building on that lot. And this lot's right at 11 acres, and... Um, Again, I don't, there's no outstanding issues. Um, so we'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Any questions or comments from the board? Want we'll to entertain a motion? Make a motion to accept as submitted. Motion to accept. Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Next item, site plan, Mason Road Business Center, lot three, requested by Kimley Horn, property located on Mason Road. Tax map 17, parcel 11, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Mr. David Ingram. Mr. Logan. Thank you. Um, this is the third lot, which is to the uh, east here, and that building is proposed to be 155,957 square feet. And um, again, similar use, warehouse and distribution, the whole site is owned I-2, and the sidewalks have been shown. And um, later tonight, the, one of the last items is the setting the bond amount for the final plat for this whole project. So um, that, I think, wraps it up. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any questions or comments? One question for the applicant, if one would you stand up. My question is, if any of the three buildings, have, have you got tenants ready to move in, or, or are they spec buildings, just a bit more insight for us? Uh, they're just spec buildings right now at this time, but the activity is really good. It's real good? Good to hear. Name and address for the record, sir. Yeah, sure. My name is Jeff Konexny. That's K-O-N-I-E-C-Z-N-Y, and I, we're at 35 Music Square East in Nashville. Thank you, sir. And one last question. Once things move ahead, when would you presume to start moving forward and moving dirt and getting uh, this We have up? a pre-con meeting scheduled for tomorrow, so it's going to happen as soon as, as soon as possible. Good evening. With that, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to accept as submitted. We have a motion to accept. We have a second. I'll second it. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Next item. Site plan requested by Huddleston Steel for Blair Road storage property located on Blair Road, tax map 29, parcel 20, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Mr. John Burns. Mr. Logan. Um, this item has actually deferred. Very good. So it may be here next month. Thank you. Very good. If it's okay with everybody. I'm going to skip 8, 9, and 10 to the end. 
We're going to move on to number 11. Site plan requested by SEC Inc. for Maxim Crane, property located at 400 Old Waldron Road, tax map 15M Group E, parcel 12, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Mr. David Ingram. Mr. Logan. Thank you. So this uh, project, most of you all are familiar with it. It was here in December. And at that time, it was approved with two ingress, egress, um, two driveways. And since that time, they have, the applicant has decided to redesign the project somewhat and have one driveway um, that would be nearest the uh, co-op. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, the plan seen up there is not the same as you'll have in your packet, as you'll note shortly if you're looking at it. As we discussed in our last meeting, uh, the engineer SEC worked with city staff, myself mostly, to move that further to the east. So essentially their entire site plan has been flipped in the plan that you see before you. That got them farther away from that intersection, which will, I think, enhance the safety. We had discussed some type of turning lane, but after looking at what their pro proposed traffic routing is going to be, uh, a turning lane didn't really make sense, especially with the way they've laid out their driveway. Uh, they have uh, agreed to work with city staff and basically strengthen the shoulder of that road because it's a, it's a fairly atypical section now. It's sort of narrow. So there will be some one to two foot shoulders put between it and the sidewalks grass strip so that when there's heavy truck, tra truck traffic, the uh, roadway will not degrade. Very good. Any questions from the board? You mentioned crossway sidewalks. What, what, what we'll discuss about that? What's, what's the final decision on that? Uh, I believe there's sidewalks shown on it with a two foot grass strip or two or four foot. I'm sorry, I don't have plans in front of me, but it's per city standard. Very good. Any other questions or comments? It just on, on the, the building itself, do we have an idea what, what can be made out of and construction material? Do we have a representative from this project here this evening? It's not in the overlay, I just be interested to know to see what, what material Absolutely. Comes. Name Plans. and address for the record, sir. Sean Foote. Uh, address is 2971 Craft Drive, Nashville. I'm the architect for the project. Uh, you asked about the building. It's um, decorative concrete panels and uh, metal panels across the front. So, so gray, what color gray would the building be? What color would the building be? What color? I don't know. They haven't decided what color it is yet. But it'll be um, a standard building color. It won't be red or purple or anything. We'll make sure you weren't matching your neighbor down the street. It is orange. Match the neighbor. Well, down make the sure you you weren't matching or competing with your neighbor down the street. <laughs> yeah, but we'll um, we'll let them decide. All right. Good. Any other questions or comments? That will entertain a motion. Make a motion to accept as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Next item, item number 12. Site plan request by Kimley Horn for Pro Lodge's Center Point Building 5, property located on New Paul Road. Tax map 17, parcel 40.02, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Patriot LLC. Mr. Logan. Thank you. So this uh, project um, you remember from the workshop is right next to I-24. Um, this is Nacarado and um, Volvo truck. And then the end of New Paul would be this uh, new building that's proposed by Prologis. And the site's 27.29 acres. And um, you can see from the imagery that it's, uh, there's a lot of rock sitting out there. Uh, no surprise to anybody. Let's see. This building is proposed to be 385,000 square feet and uh, proposed use is warehouse and distribution. Also planned are parking and associated driveways, which are on three sides of the building, all, all sides except um, 
the West. So um, they are showing a five foot wide sidewalk for um, the, the small area that they touch on the public right of way, which is just in the cul-de-sac. And um, I think uh, that's all. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Very good. Thank you, sir. Any questions or comments from the board? That will entertain a motion. I, I do have a question. It's uh, were these just internal notes, one through three on technical items? Uh, no, sir. They they do apply, but the the way that overlay district was mapped out years ago, it doesn't apply to very much of the parcel. Um, it may not even touch the building, so it's um it's just an odd uh, delineation of that overlay district. So um, I need to get Todd to look at it. Uh, Alderman Jones, if I may, uh, Chairman. I believe during the discussion, during the workshop, it was brought up that it was in the overlay district, but the uh, initial plan set out by this body was just to uh, try to match the other buildings nearby. And I think to that end, uh, Kimley Horn and partners have brought uh, some paint samples to show if, if I recall the discussion correctly. That is correct, sir. A representative from the project, please step forward. State your name and address for us. Uh, my name is Mike Carrico. I work for Prologis, and our address is located at uh, my personal address is 4463 Diamond Ridge, Greenwood, Indiana. Very good, sir. And you brought us some pictures. I yes, sir. I did. This is the. Essentially, it has a different branded colors mm -hmm. and it's in the, the new package, so you should be able to look at those colors. But that's that's our intent at this point. Match the uniformity of yes, the sir. Whole neighborhood. It'll be very much the same color glass systems. It'll be the same color paint systems. Again, it's a we have our own branding of colors <laughs> throughout the United States. Very good. Uh, proposed signs. We have uh, proposed one sign. It's located at the front of the building. And oh. there was a submittal of the sign in the package. I have another question. I understand it's a very rocky area. The, the shrubbery you put in there, you, you're pretty emphatic you can, you can get that in there too? Yes, sir. We're going to do what we have to do to meet all your your landscape requirements. We appreciate that, thank you. We have to. It is rocky. No, no doubt. Very good. Any other questions or comments? Gentlemen, make a motion to accept as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. A second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Thank you, very much, thank you sir. Next item. Site plan requested by Chet Rhodes for Car Pros Auto Sales property located at 5397B Murfreesboro Road, tax map 18B, Group B, parcel 14.05 C2 Highway Service Zoning District, property owned by Mag D. Loza. Mr. Logan. Thank you. Number 13 and 14 are deferred. Very good, thank you, sir. Item number 15, preliminary plat, cottages of Lake Forest, phase seven, requested by Danny Womble, property located on Holland Ridge Road, tax map 14, parcel six, R3, high density residential zoning district, properly owned by Abnon Shreedman, Mr. Logan. Thank you, this is a preliminary plat for Lake Forest, phase seven, and um, the zoning is R3, high-density residential, and um, 
the plat shows 58 lots on approximately 10 and a half acres. And uh, this phase proposes two new public streets na to be named Westcott Drive and Connor Court. And both of those will be interior public roads, as you can see on the screen. And um, all the technical items have been addressed. And I think I will let Mr. Leach talk about the other concern. Thank you. Mr. Leach. Uh, on the other concerns, as part of our typical preliminary plat process, we do letters of water and sewer availability. The uh, interceptor that this area would feed into is nearing its capacity, uh, peak capacity, which is calculated different than actual capacity. So we're essentially working within our margin of error, margin of safety, whatever, whatever, however you'd like to phrase that. Uh, I don't think this particular subdivision will impact it significantly enough to warrant outright rejection, or I would have made it a technical item. But just as a standing item and for this board's personal knowledge, further development going into that interceptor will probably be, at least in my opinion, should be heavily scrutinized because until we upgrade the infrastructure, that uh, could cause us some sewer problems down the road. Very good note, sir. With that being said, any other questions or comments from the board? I think we should get Mr. Womble up and just to discuss, man. I'm sure he wants to discuss that. Mr. Item. Womble, if you would, please come to the podium and state your name and address for the record. Danny Womble, 40 Middleton Street, Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, sir. Mr. Coates. So, so as you heard uh, the staff's comments, uh, just, just want to get your opinion or, or your thoughts as, as you move forward with these other, other phases. Uh, yes, uh, I had an opportunity to discuss this issue with Adam this afternoon, mm -hmm. and I do understand the concern, I understand the situation, and I agree with the staff's comments, and I understand that any future development in this drainage basin, uh, there may be limited capacity in the, in the sewer system to support any additional development, or there may have to be system improvements, I understand that. I also understand the peaking factors that are used and the calculations, and I agree with Adam that it's safe to go ahead and, and approve this phase and allow this phase to develop, but any future development has to be looked at more closely, and I agree with that. Excuse me. You are sharing uh, sidewalks on both sides of the street? Is that what I'm looking at? Sidewalks both sides of the street? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't Sidewalks? Know. Yes, sidewalks are proposed on bus on bus streets. Just looking at it, which way is the most of the, the uh, runoff water running? Which direction is it running? The um, main drive, which is Westcott, uh, where it intersects with Connor Court, that's kind of the high point, generally the high point. So the water from, from that intersection uh, flows back towards the top of the sheet and down into the, the big sinkhole that was located in the middle that's in the open space. And then when you go from that intersection down toward Holland Ridge, Con Connor Court, those lots slope down towards Holland Ridge. Thank you, Ms. Wong. Appreciate it. Thank you. Any other questions or comments from the board? Entertain a motion. All technical items been addressed and concerns also make a motion to accept. We have a motion to accept as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. The next item preliminary plat. Lake Woods, phase 10, requested by Danny Womble, property located on Hallandale Road, tax map 6, parcel 19.02, R2, medium density residential zoning district, property owned by Mr. Abnon Shreven. Mr. Logan. Thank you. On behalf of their client, Womble and Associates is um, requesting approval for this preliminary, preliminary plat. And this is um, 16 single family lots on 5.7 acres. And um, the smallest proposed lot 
would be 10,002 square feet, while the largest lot is 15,428. And uh, two new public roads are proposed um, to be named Morty Drive and Amit Street. Both roads are to be public roads. So uh, this is 16 lots, all single family, and um, all the, they have shown the sidewalks, so um, item one can be disregarded. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any questions or comments from the board? Um, just want to make sure I understand this, but it doesn't show like they've got sidewalks going around the cul-de-sac of Hammett Street and Muskin. Danny Womble, <clears throat> 40 Middleton Street. Uh, we are showing sidewalks to be constructed. We show the sidewalks coming up to the temporary turnaround. This is a temporary turnaround in the cul-de-sac. Uh, we did not show sidewalks going around it because we anticipate that that street would be extended in the future when the adjacent property develops. So then the sidewalks will be torn out as well as, as the temporary turnaround and then the street section would be built at the normal 50, uh, 50 foot wide right away section. Appreciate that. The existing home that's on there on 1014, are you, are you sure that it can fit in that building lot? In building envelope because obviously I see it and I'm just concerned that, it, that at a later date you come back for variance so I'll make sure that uh, that house is in building envelope for 1014. That, that's that's a good point and a good question. I was concerned also. So, in before we prepared this preliminary plat, we surveyed the property, and in the surveying of the property, we located the house to make sure that it fits, and it does fit. And we will not ask for variance. Well, obviously, then you're aware that it faces Holdale and, and not uh, the skin. I mean, obviously. It's I understand. I talked to Amnon about that, and he assures me that they will rework that house and make it fit in with the neighborhood, uh, and that it is of uh, enough value that he wants to keep it and just uh, renovate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any other questions or comments? I'll entertain a motion. We have a motion to accept. We have a second. I'll second it. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion passes. Next item. Next item. Final plat requested by Ahmad Omar for a minor subdivision property located at 143 Elm Street, tax map 17M, Group C, parcel 23, R2 Residential Single Family Zoning District. Mr. Logan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this item has uh, been here several times, and tonight it was at the BOZA meeting, and they did receive uh, a variance from the Board of Zoning Appeals for the front setback for the existing house, which is, you can see here, uh, is the existing house. So they did receive the variance um, to the 35 foot setback, and that was the last item that had carried over since last uh, September, I think. So all is in order now with that plat. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any questions or comments? With that, we'll entertain a motion. Make motion to accept as submitted. We have a motion to accept as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Next item. Set bond amount for a send final plat, property located at 231 Waldron Road, tax map 17, parcel 2.04, C2 Highway Service Zoning, Highway Service Commercial Zoning District, property owned by Ascend Federal Credit Union, Mr. Logan. Mr. Logan. Thank you. Uh, this is to set the bond amount for the uh, final plat for Ascend Federal Credit Union, and uh, the address is 231 Waldron Road. Uh, per the subdivision regulations, the developer submitted three construction bids, an average plus the required 20% contingency, and a stamped estimate provided by the engineer 
The bids came from Summit Constructors, Jones Brothers, LLC, and Jarrett Builders. And the engineer's estimate with the 20% is 45620 Thank you, sir. Is that a number staff is com comfortable with? Uh, just for, I guess, informational purposes, Mr. Chairman, uh, all the infrastructure was already built. They had just elected not to put a bond on it and kind of skipped part of the process. So this is just amending the skip. So everything's in place. So the, the risk to the city is virtually none at this point. So we're just... Uh, I hate to use this term, but we're checking the boxes currently. There you go. Very good, guys. Any questions or comments from the board? I'll entertain a motion on this item. Make a recommendation to accept the uh, 45620 in total bond amount. We have a motion to accept the stated bond amount. Do we have a second? Okay. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The motion passes. Next item. Thank you, Thank you ma'am. Next item. Set bond amount for Mason Road final plat property located on Mason Road, tax map 17, parcel 11, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Mr. David Ingram. Mr. Logan. Thank you. On behalf of their client, Kimley Horn is requesting the Planning Commission to set the bond amount for the public improvements at the Mason Road Business Center that will consist of Bain Drive, realignment of Mason Road, and extensions of public water and sewer. Per the subdivision regulations, Kimley Horn has submitted three bids, an average plus the required 20% contingency, and a stamped estimate provided by the engineer. Bids came from Yancey Brothers, Jones Brothers, and Summit Constructors. The engineer's estimate with contingency is one million eight hundred forty-two thousand four hundred fifteen dollars. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Same question. Is that a number staffs happy with? Yes, Mr. Chairman. The estimates were uh, reasonably close together, and with the stated contingency and the fact that we're going to do a pre-con tomorrow, I, <coughs> I believe we're in a good place with this bond. Very good. Thank you, sir. Questions or comments from the board? None. We will entertain a motion. Make a motion to accept the $1,842,415 bond amount as set. We have a motion to accept the stated amount. Do we have a second? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. And let's see. We are going to go back to number eight. Amend to zoning ordinance, amend 3.110, site plan requirements, delete fee and lieu for sidewalks, presented by Mr. Graham Coates. Mr. Logan. Um, there's not been any change or update to this item. Um, I think there's supposed to be a discussion at some point. We're in I think, I think we discussed at the last <laughs> workshop this item and that we would have new drafts for both the reg zoning, zoning ordinance and the subdivision regulations for a full discussion at the workshop that have now gone through Kyle, Bo, myself, and Bruce. So be prepared to discuss this at the workshop. That sound good, Bo? Yeah, the next workshop, okay. Is that feasible to get that emailed out before then so we can have a chance to review prior to the meeting so we can discuss it? Yeah. That would be great. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, really, yeah, that's fine. I mean, some of the language is just simply... N Nick and I have... To worked, have them or not to we, have we them. We worked on some of the language, so yes. <laughs> it would be beneficial so that this can get on the agenda for the end of March for a vote for recommendation. Very good, and that's going to apply to 8, 9, and 10, correct? Yes. Very good. Now we will go back to, so we'll be having discussion on those items at next month's workshop. And we'll move to number 20, amendment to zoning ordinance, remove the use of self-storage mini warehouse and mini storage from all commercial zoning districts. Mr. Logan? Yes, so as discussed at the workshop, um, for all of those reasons, the um, it's the decision would be to remove or not to remove. Thank you. <laughs> and there is a, I believe this is on set for a workshop on Thursday. 
Did you see that? Okay, okay. Or the mayor, board of mayor and aldermen. Okay. But it would need a recommendation from this board to approve. Uh, okay. Have they seen the draft? I, I mean, the yeah, at the workshop, I think the draft was the here. Draft. Okay, and I didn't know if it was in their packet. I mean, it, again. It's got to, of course, this is just to amend the zoning ordinance. So this planning commission would just be voting on whether to give a favorable and unfavorable recommendation as to that ordinance. It would then go before the Board of Mayor and Aldermen. Very good. And I, Bo, I just I saw an email earlier today from Bruce saying this was going to be yeah. on okay. the agenda for Thursday's workshop, which means there needs to be a vote on it today. And I didn't know if they had received a final version yet. And it was in our workshop packets, not in this packet. I don't know. Um, I think it was. I haven't seen in much. the workshop packet, and it was emailed to Bruce Richardson. But yeah, I don't. I don't really write the ordinances, so. All right, I'm so what I would recommend, because this does need to get done, is what I understand, because it is on the workshop agenda. I, there is an email that was sent that has a final version. If we can, uh, if you all should do a motion to recess for just a couple minutes, I think this is the right thing to do so we can get it done, to print out, and get it to you all just to look at so you can do a vote on it to give a favorable and unfavorable recommendation. But you need a motion in a second. I'll make a motion. Make a motion for a recess. For a second. Five, five minutes. Do have a second. Do have a second. Okay, John. Thank you. Second. All in favor. Mess me up. Recess. Motion. Recess. Five minutes.
And we are back with a copy of the ordinance. Give us a few minutes to read this. Mr. Logan, can you clarify this a little bit more about uh, what we're talking about? I, I heard you talk before about it, uh, but what, what's actually going on? Okay, uh, so there's there's uh, probably several issues with self-storage. So I'll hit the, the two that are the most important. Um, one would be that they, Laverne has a limited amount of space to develop. And so um, sometimes you hear some of the city leaders talk about Laverne being landlocked. And so this is gonna become more important as the years go on. So if the city hopes to recruit or attract any kind of retail or restaurant or there's a whole lot of uses really that could that might come one day you know nobody knows but when self storage goes in it, it tends to just be a real um it eats up a lot of land and it stays there forever you talk about dumpsters if uh, if i may Mr. yes Chairman. sir uh i think what bo is alluding to in planning terms is often what they call highest and best use so ideally as a city, we try to get the highest and best use of the land within our corporate limits that we can. So with your self storage type buildings, they typically take up large parcels. They don't generate any tax revenue for the city uh, beyond the fees that we collect for their inspection, that type of thing. They're, uh, I guess, revenue neutral or revenue negative once you take into account that they carry their own traffic burden, you know, fire, water, all those type services that the city provides. And if we were in a position like Murfreesboro where we could typically expand our corporate limits, it might not be that great of an issue because we could always expand out. We are blocked in on every side by either other cities, Davidson County, Williamson County, Wilson County, so if we don't try to make the highest and best use of our land, eventually we could just have a bunch of self-storage units instead of the sit-down restaurants, retail establishments, the type of community that citizens would want to live in. So that's, uh, I think, the biggest issue with these type of developments. They're a necessary evil in the world, of course, or if you want to call them evil, that might be a poor statement on my part. but. They are necessary and they serve a purpose, but if we allow them along all of our C2 type zonings, uh, basically we'll fill up Murfreesboro Road and parts of Old Nashville and any other area that we have a commercial zoning with self storage because nearly every other city near us has enacted an ordinance of this type. Very good. And there are several, even if say that this went into effect tonight there's um a new facility next door to to us that's coming sterling development submitted uh yesterday uh, and they're beside the go past walmart and past the granite and so they want to put three or four hundred storage units there so you'll see those next month a plus just opened and has a phase two and a three still coming so it would be one thing if you drove all around Laverne, you couldn't find anywhere to store your stuff. But there's plenty of places to store your stuff. And I think what we figured out as staff is we're now storing everybody else's items, people that don't even live in Laverne, because there's so much of it here. So this is, this is all in the highest and best use, getting the city headed in the right direction for the future. Mm -hmm. um, this would be an important step in that process. Very good. Thank you, gentlemen.
for the clarifications. Do we have any questions or comments from the board? It looks good, and I think uh, I'll make a motion to pass on a favourable recommendation to the Mayor in Auburn, as, as written, Ordinance 2018-05. We have a motion for a favourable recommendation to the Board of Mayor and Alderman. Do we have a second? I'll second it. We have a second. All in favour say aye. 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 All opposed? We'll be sending a favourable recommendation to the Board of Mayor and Alderman on this item. And our next item, if I am not mistaken, is bonds and letters of credit. Mr. Leach. Mr. Chairman, board, uh, you have our typical printout that you get every month. The uh, only change this month is there's been three new starts on construction. It was a somewhat slow month from last where we had 18. I believe that could be attributed to the weather. And uh, since we're the last item, I'll try not to read it to you. Any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, pinnacle point phase four, is that, am I reading that right? February 15th, 18? Yes, sir, and I'll be uh, following up with them. They ha typically have an automatic extension on those, mm -hmm. but this will be one I have to make a phone call, tell them to extend it. Very good. Any other questions or comments from the board? Audience? Meeting adjourned.